Writing is such a perfect endeavor. I feel... I feel as if everything can just be put into writing and just expand. Words hold meaning beyond what the world can process. It's so calming to write down everything that's just just pouring emotion onto paper is just the most soft and relaxing things that I can do. It feels like whenever I'm writing about anything, it's just like I'm just pouring my feelings into the paper. Whether it be my diary, poetry, stories that I'm writing, it's all connected back to how I am in my life. As life changes, my stories change, my poetry changes, my... Everything changes. I love how everything in this world is constantly changing, and it's constantly going along with the truth the butterfly holds. I love to write. Though, it confuses me that people don't write more than they do. I know so many people who just don't want to write anything because they feel like they're doing it wrong. And I'm just like, but, but there's no wrong way to write. I mean, I guess there are some rules. But... As long as you've gone through middle school English, you should be able to write something. Even if it does... Even if it won't make it into the real, like, publishing world, it's still something, and it's still the same thing. Like, even... I remember most of my stuff from middle school sucked, but, you know... I still had... My feelings out there. I still was dumping everything onto the paper, and it just looked beautiful. And... I guess... I guess the difference between normal people and writers is that writers see the world differently. I guess every group sees the world differently. It's a matter of how. I don't know. Writing is my passion. If I'm going to do anything, it's going to be writing, and I'm currently working on a story. I'm working on- I, I'm, I'm rewriting the first chapter for the sixth time, because I can't decide on what to- like, I keep deciding to change the layout of how it's going to work out. And I just changed everybody's name in the, in the story for my sixth go-through, because I basically am, like, scrapping all of the old- ones because they're useless garbage and it's about the, the story that I'm working on it's about me disliking the real world so I intentionally find a way to get inside my head and stay there but that puts me into a coma in the real world so my friends when they come visit me in the hospital because they're, they are worried about me, and they do visit me. I'm, at least I hope they would. They, like, are, they notice this jewel because it's a part of me, and they touch it, and that puts them inside of my head with me. But it's only people that I would accept, that, that I know personally, hence why the doctors and nurses don't wind up getting inside my head either by touching it. It's just the people that I would let in. And anyone who is blood related it to me also cannot get in. So it comes down to only my friends, or at least people that I know that aren't family or family is 
can get it right into my head and it, they just get into my world and they are unable to leave because they go into comas too the moment they touch that jewel and they're all inside my head and they ha the only way they can get out is if they can convince me as a small child because I am only a small child within my head to like they have to convince me that I, that the real world is better than the world in my head. After I already decided that it's not. So, it's gonna be a pretty long plotline. Chapter 1, at first was trying to write a situational thing. It didn't work out, so... Because chapter 1, I'm supposed to introduce the characters and um, introduce the conflict because that's always what chapter one is for. So I need to find a perfect way to do this. I came around to a wonderful idea of doing it in diary form entry, but I realized it's extremely hard to do because that's also a bit too situational. So I'm writing poetry forms this time through. See if it works out. I'm liking it so far, it's really easy to do and it's a lot more free and opening so I basically am writing the name name of the character underlined and then I'm writing a poem about what they are to me what they are and what they are to me so that I so that it's relative I also the first one in there is one about me so that people get the main character first, and then everyone else afterwards, because all of them are equally as important as each other. I go in order of how I met them, and if they were met within the same time span, in order of importance, but it's really difficult to tell because it's multiple different time spans, so really, you'd have to be extremely close to me, to, and you'd have to have known me way longer than the story to be able to tell which is being used. So, it's really exciting. I really like writing. And I'm doing quite well. I've made it through multiple different poems. And writing poetry about the people I know and care for is extremely easy. Actually, poetry in general is easy for me. I've, I just... That really does put an outlook like, when reading my own stuff, it's obvious to see where I am, personally. Because writing is the ultimate way to analyze your own feelings. Writing down exactly how I'm feeling, basically, is all I'm doing, no matter what I'm writing about. Because if I'm in a bad mood, it's going to be very apparent within the writing. Even if I don't, even if it is like an extremely happy part in the story, it'll be apparent by how sarcastic I am. I get more and more sarcastic whenever I'm upset. It's quite hilarious, or at least in my writing, I, I'm not very good at sarcasm in real life. Well, unless I'm angry, at which point I'm great at it. I've been getting angry a lot lately. So I've been getting upset a lot lately. But I've also been getting extremely happy a lot lately, so... Eh. As usual, my emotions are crashing waves. <laughs> Emotional tides. Also, that entire phrase right there directly pulled from a poem, so I think I probably just have a great respect for writing that it's just beyond what writing holds for me probably doesn't hold forth for other people. I guess it can for some. I wonder what it is like. I wonder why other people love writing. Can I understand why people don't love writing? It's because they're blinded by the schools. 
schools basically rip out creativity from a young age. And they will only work on persuasive essays through middle school all the way up until... Well, we were working on persuasive essays up through junior year, and this, e this year, senior year, we're doing literary analysis, and I'm just like, uh, uh, ever done this before? Ever done this before? Fudge. What am I doing? <laughs> so. I'll get better at that. I'm sure. Literary analysis is hard. But, it's exactly what I'm talking about now. In, ev in any piece of work, any piece of literature, you can find the meaning of the that the author put themselves into. They put their own life into stories, even if they are fake and fictional and fantasy and sci-fi. Their own existence is put in there. How one sees the world, how one wishes the world to be, how one would absolutely hate the world to be. Everything is just crumbled together into s stories. <sighs> Even writing about like like blogging, I I wrote about my actual life. I wasn't actually doing fiction. It holds the same truth. Writing about my own self that's actually excessively amazing. I was writing I was using the butterfly as an analogy, considering my life is with the butterfly. Everything. I just realized I actually have a painting of butterfly on screen. Right up there. I, I love that I can do that with my finger, like touch its wing, even though it's like on the wall behind me. I painted that, it's really pretty. Either way, <laughs> onwards from that distraction, I can't actually focus on anything at all lately. It's really annoying, but, you know, whatever. A lot's been on my mind, considering everything has gone into distortion, and everything's just dysfunctioning, and just going... So, I'm actually surprised that I'm anywhere with this whole thing. And now I'm probably going to get too absorbed in staring at myself because I'm absolutely beautiful. At least I feel beautiful right now and I don't usually do this hairstyle. I really like it though. I feel all elfy. <laughs> I like feeling like an elf. Meow. Meow. Either way, it's been like 13 minutes of me talking about how amazing writing is, and I should probably go, considering I don't want this video to get excessively long. Let's see!